everyone, how you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is a reading for Friday the uh, 9th of December. So this is the pile number one is the uh, the rough blue appetite here. Uh, pile number two is the Amazonite and pile number three is the black tourmaline which by the way is really really good for protection in case you ever you know feel like you need a little bit of a extra boost to protect you from negative energy, carry a piece of that around with you. Remember to clean it though, um, that'll help a lot. So I will just give you a minute to choose your pile and obviously if you want more time, you can pause the video. Okay, so just move these guys over here. So that's number three, that is number two and pile number one, you were the blue appetite. So. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You have ooh, the Page of Cups. Okay, so this is something you've been manifesting that's taken a really long time to come in. Uh, this is love, okay? This is someone coming in to offer you love. They could be a like Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Yeah, they could be Taurus as well. Vir Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water, specifically Pisces crossover. Uh, this is someone new, okay? They're very, very slow, <laughs> but the offer that they're bringing in is very stable. They're also very, very sweet, very romantic uh, with the Page of Cups, maybe a little naive, okay? You have the Three of Swords. You have the Seven of Swords. And you have main female. Okay, okay. Just get her to focus. There we go. So I feel like this is you, okay? Regardless of your gender, I feel like you are the main female in this scenario. Or, you know, if you don't want to be the female, you can be this other person coming in, okay? But th th this, um, this is someone who want you're going to be the main female here or the main person like this is someone coming in who wants to make you their main person okay um i feel like this has not manifested until this point because you or possibly your person switch it around as it resonates but i feel like for most of you it's you had your heart broken in the past and you were a little defensive um, subconsciously, obviously, nobody consciously blocks out love, like we're not crazy, this is subconscious stuff that I feel um, took you a while to get past, but now you're past it and this person's coming in, okay? And they want to make you their main female or their main male, but also I feel like this is you, like you're ready to become somebody's main female or main male, like main person. Because um, you may have I feel like you're going to get spoiled by this person. You know, they're going to give you a lot of attention. Um, I'm actually just looking at a candle, that another candle that I have on in, in a reflection and it, I see like a double flame. So this could be a twin flame coming in. Uh, it doesn't have to be, okay? Just putting that out there for those of you that resonate with that. But um, I feel like you had to get past like some outdated ideas about yourself that you weren't worthy to be somebody's main person or like you weren't worthy to get all this attention. I feel like that's another thing that you were letting go of, okay? So here they come, pile number one. So that is your message. I hope it was useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And uh, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Pile number two, you had the Amazonite. So you have, ooh, you have the Nine of Cups. You have ooh, the Two of Cups. Oh my God. And you have Pathway. Okay. So you have some kind of partnership coming in, pile number uh, two. I'm just going to go ahead and call this for a lot of you. This is some kind of soulmate coming in, like some kind of love coming in um, for a lot of you. Um, you could also have resonated, like you could have been, re you could have resonated with pile number one. Uh, if you are definitely not looking for love or you're already with someone, this could be some other kind of partnership coming in. Um, and it's going to lead to a new pathway, okay? But it's a wish fulfillment. Whoever this partner is coming in, um, they're going to feel like a best friend. You're going to really, really get along with them. You guys think the same way. 
you want the same things out of life. You might be very different on the surface, but you have the same core values, you know? Um, or you could be very similar. It's going to be different for different people, but this is a wish fulfillment coming in. It's th This is going to make you so happy, okay? And it opens up some kind of new pathway for you. And it's like a blessed pathway. You know, it's the place where you're supposed to be walking. And I feel like you've had to go through a lot of transformation to get to this person, this new person. It's someone newer, okay? So it could be someone you've known for a few years, but like, for example, if it's love, you've not dated them yet, right? Um, but yeah, it's some kind of blessed pathway, but it required a lot of transformation on your part and I think their part to get here. So this is some kind of soulmate union coming in, pile number two, okay? And it's going to make you really, really happy. So I hope uh, that was a useful reading for you, pile number two. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Pile number three, you are the black tourmaline. Also, so pile, um, uh, so black tourmaline is very good for protection. So if you feel like you're being bullied in the workplace or there's just a lot of people shooting kind of negative energy at you, it's good to have this around, but don't forget to clean it, okay? Also, if you have noisy neighbors, because I actually have a lot of this in, in my house, um, because when I first moved in here, my neighbors were very noisy. So if you get some black tourmaline and some pyrite and kind of put it in a grid around like the edge of your home, it doesn't stop your neighbors from being noisy, but it stops it from bothering you is what I noticed. Like you just don't hear it anymore. And also I feel like it did quiet them down. So that's just, I don't know why I'm telling you that. Maybe someone needs to hear it. So pile number three, you have... Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles came out in this position yesterday. So you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles. Um, you have Community. And you have uh, Privilege Lady. Okay. I also have another few cards here, but I want to talk about these ones first. So you have a lot of money coming in, okay? The Ten of Pentacles. Um, it's some kind of, it's some kind of job contract, like signing a job contract or some kind of abundance coming in for you. Like abundance can come in many different ways, right? Like you might be getting a new job that's very lucrative or you could have an idea that's going to make you a lot of money. Uh, it could be some kind of I feel like it's something you're going to work towards, like some kind of position. Um, and with the Four of Pentacles here, like you're no longer going to have to worry about money, basically is the message coming through, okay? You're going to, you know, you have the privileged lady, but male or female, it doesn't matter what you are. Um, you're gonna, it's going to make you a lot of money. And I feel the reason I'm saying it's something to do with your work is because I feel it's something within the community that's going to make you this money. Like you're going to be working with people or you're going to be working one-on-one -on -one to make this money. Like you might be, it's like you're going to have your own community or it's like you're a figurehead within a community or something, which is a bit, it's very broad, but I don't think it's not like a, a lottery win or something. It's something, it's like a, something very stable that you're going to earn if you see what I mean. So it's going to be like, it's the money's always going to be there, right? Because it's like a marketable skill that you have. Okay. But listen, it's going to make you a lot of money. Okay. So if you've got some kind of idea that's always, that you know, that spirit's been pushing, and you've been noticing they're, they're like, keep putting the idea in your head. <laughs> okay. That might be what this is. Um, you also have justice. I feel like this is two separate messages. Hold on. That's weird that they've done that. Hold on. You have Justice. You have King of Wands. You have the Six. Okay, there's two. Okay, bear with me. There's the Six of Pentacles and there's Message of Concern. There's a little extra message popping up here. Like, they are all related, but let me give you the extra message first. Some of you are going to get a very surprising message of apology from someone. I think that's so interesting 
because the other two piles, spoiler alert, Spirit had plenty of time to put those messages in there and it's kind of coming at the tail end of this one. So it's almost like someone, I don't know how to say it, it's like they're not really on your radar <laughs> anymore. It's like maybe someone from the past or someone that you're like, I don't really care. It, but you're getting an apology. Could be a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart, which would be Aries Leo Sag. Um, I feel like this person, it's like they've either watched your glow up or they're watching this new opportunity come in or it's something like that or they've been watching you. And see with message of concern, it's not going to concern you, it's just going to really surprise you. Um, it's reciprocation as well with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this came up, I feel like these exact three cards came up in a message very recently in the daily reading. So it's like a reciprocation they should have given you a long time ago. So it could be someone that ghosted you or maybe the, with the Six of Pentacles they owe you money and they're finally paying you back or something. Okay, it's gonna surprise you though. I feel like, I just wanna warn you, if this is love, they want another chance, okay? And it's kind of like they see you, you glowing up and they're like, I want some of that. <laughs> you know, maybe not in a malicious way, but yeah, I feel like that's something that's gonna come through. Okay, um, so anyway though, back to the, the money. This could be something to do, yeah, see with community and the Six of Pentacles, it's like you're giving back to the community. It's like some kind of leadership role or like manager or figurehead. See how he's giving people things? You could be giving people like, you could be selling things or like, or giving advice or, um, you know, like the manager giving out jobs or something, right? I actually think you're going to be very surprised how much money you make from this or it's like how quick it takes off or something you're gonna you're gonna have a lot more money than you anticipated from this um and i feel like see with the king of wands it's he often talks about some kind of speaker like a motivational speaker or um again like an entrepreneur or manager or team leader and it's it's people are drawn to your personality because you're warm and you're kind of charismatic and you have like a leadership, like a fiery kind of passionate energy. And I feel like you've worked, there's something to do with like people respect where you've come from, like the work that you've put in, like your background or something, it's, it's something like that, like you know a lot or something and it's like you're sharing it with people. Um, but you can look up other jobs for the King of Wands, but yeah, like like it's that type of energy <coughs> my voice is just gone so for those of you that this is to do with speaking you may wonder like can I do this yeah you can okay it's just you getting in your own way being like oh my god do people really want to hear what I have to say yeah they do they do okay it's time to it, it, there's no more holding back spirits saying okay you have something that you need to give to the world like leadership or knowledge or something and it's time, okay? Um, it's, um, you're supposed to have this money, okay? Like you're supposed to have it. That's what's coming through. And, um, I feel like it's something again, it's like to do with your knowledge something to do with your knowledge about something, okay? So yeah, pile number three, that, that was your messages. <laughs> Went a bit random there, but that's your messages. I hope they were useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.